Yo guys, I'm here at Jindo Seoul Resort in Jindo, Korea. And let me tell you, this is probably the best resort hotel I've ever been to in Korea. Let's take a look. This is it. Take the shoes off. Come on again. Huh? Oh, really? Your room First time using hotel or whatever. <laughs> oh. oh, look at this bed. Mm. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a... Okay, Hina and Penny are sleeping here. Yo, this isn't bad. It's not bad, it's not bad. Yeah. We've got our nice little... like, kitchenette area here. And then oh, there's a mirror. Good. For me to stare at myself all day long and we got a nice little samsung television oh not bad and let's check out the view let me put this down here oh hey, parking view. we got a parking view of the parking lot <laughs> and whoa okay i got a queen size bed too yo this is gonna be sick okay we came downstairs to the basement and we're looking for some restaurants but we ran into this like self shop. So instead of there being like a actual mart, we have this self shop that's 24 hours. So you can buy like drinks, you can buy like toiletries, you know, different snacks and stuff. To the welcome center, this tunnel here is connected. So you can use this to go underground and today it's raining and it's cold. So this is like the perfect way for us to get around. Check this out. So we're downstairs and they've got like a little photo place over there. And here, here is the market. So you can go in and buy like all of your stuff. And then over here, ah, here is a restaurant. So it says the pub. This is super cool. So, oh, this is chicken. And they have a kind of Korean pizza. Oh, snap. And they also have a, a seafood restaurant here. It says seafood table. Really tall. And it's very big. Wow, it's so big on the inside. Look at all of that space. Yo, we came into the convenience store located uh, in the bottom of our hotel room building. <laughs> and they got everything in here. This is like a legit grocery store in this hotel. It's kind of like a compound. <laughs> you can get anything you want. I'm so impressed, like very, very impressed. And of course, Penny's over there going straight to the ice cream. She's a haagen person. <laughs> Yo, they got cereal here too. Like, this is crazy. Like if I want to have some cereal for breakfast, I can just come and pick up one of these. Like, man, I'm loving this store. I can just, live here in the store. They got fruit over here also. Wow. Definitely need some bananas. I haven't had any fruit like all day. <laughs> yeah, let's get some fruit. Okay, so we came down into the restaurant at the bottom of our building and this place is super sick. So you can get pizza, chicken, fish and chips and an assortment of different alcohols and stuff here. It's really really cool a little pricey but you're only gonna come here maybe once so it's worth the visit so the fish and chips came out look at this penny penny just wait man you know what is wait? social media has to eat first no. penny's gonna demonstrate her amazing cutting skills like, she actually moved from China here to Korea to learn how to cut food. Ain't that right? Yeah. Okay, the main event has arrived. We got this bulgogi pizza. So, you can see the bulgogi, it's like beef, but it's prepared a different way. It's like kind of sweet. And there's like some vegetables and stuff. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've seen pizza before. Yes. Uh, <laughs> first, first bite. First bite. Oh 
And the eyes mm. and the mouth. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second to change it. Go. I'm going to change the focus of my channel from soul informative vlogging to Korean beauty. <laughs> okay, guys, this is day two of our stay down here in the Jindo Resort. And now we're away from the resort. We're going to some town called Hainam. I don't know what's there, maybe a cable car or something. Anyways, now we're at this cafe. The girls can't live without coffee. So let's go inside and see what they're getting. Maybe I'll get something too. Huh? What does 10 day mean? Uh, anyway, so only Americano is available now. This is a nice little countryside cafe, but just like the countryside, usually there are no people because it's very hard to get to these areas. But yeah, man, you can't see very spacious areas like this in Seoul. Okay, finally, 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 we're going up the cable car. I told you guys in another video, I think it was the Seoul Sun. Anyway, so I'll find it later. Whenever I go to places in Korea, when I travel in Korea, I always try to go up cable cars if they are there. So this cable car particularly is going to take us about 10 minutes to get to the top. And then we have to walk another like 15 minutes to get to the place where there's a really nice view. But the main thing about going to the top this time is that the temperature is going to drop two or three degrees. It is already freezing out here, so I'm a little scared. <laughs> Careful. Oh. So finally we can get some food. They got some odang here. Oh my god. We've been waiting to get something to eat. Yo, finally. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is gonna be so good. Oh, she's happy too. She was doing a dance. This is one of the best things about traveling to the countryside is that you get to eat countryside food. I mean, you can find this in Seoul, but it tastes much better when you're eating it in the countryside, like much, much better. Why? Because you're eating it with your friends, but also because you're traveling and you get like this really cool experience <laughs> and feeling. <laughs> Good? It's hot. Very hot, but delicious, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Okay, the best thing about this holding is definitely the soup. It's freezing out here, and this hot soup is gonna warm all of us up because we gotta go outside. Freezing? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm now at the top of the uh, Cape Park area. Yo, I'm freezing. Like, seriously, it's, it's cold. And I was supposed to go to Mongolia this winter, uh, this December. I don't know if that's going to be happening. It's going to be minus 40 in Mongolia. It's only like zero here. <laughs> I can't even deal with zero degrees. Anyways, let's take a look around this area. <laughs> Check this out before the DJI stops working again. Yo, oh my goodness, I'm sliding all the way down here. This is a real winter wonderland. It's much warmer than it was at the top over there. So 
Yeah. Oh, they're taking photos. I gotta get out of the way. They're taking photos. I think they finished. Okay, good. How do you like it, Penny? It's pretty, right? Uh, yeah, it's really pretty. Ah, very beautiful. Oh, 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 careful! Oh It's super cold outside. Anyways, uh, we came to this restaurant. This is like an authentic. What kind of restaurant is this? Korean restaurant. Authentic Korean restaurant. But I think it's a the uh, the dishes they have is famous in this area in Henam. Okay, so the dishes here are unique and indigenous to the area here. So we're gonna take a taste. But first, I want to show you like the decor. This place actually looks like a person's home, a traditional. Korean person's home. No, a traditional home of a Korean person. <laughs> you know, can you tell us about how Cholado serves food? I don't think it's every everywhere in Cholado, but uh, as far as I remember, when I was little, I also went to down to the south. Um, and then we went to a Korean restaurant, and they always kind of serve with this entire table. So uh -huh. we're sitting in a four, mm. there's like no table. We're just sitting and then they're bringing entire table with the side dishes on the top. You'll, you'll see later. Oh, wow. Oh, So this place is actually famous. There's a woman who has been running this restaurant for about what 20 years? I think seven years. Maybe 20 years. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Oh. 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 Wow, Kamsamira. Wow. Okay, so we have the entire spread here. I love this. I don't know what that is. This is the famous dish here. Ah, takalbi. Tok tok. Tok Tokalbi is. What kind of meat is that? Beef, beef. Oh, beef? Hanu? Oh. Yeah, that's why wow. we're taking here. If it's a uh, work, of course we can. So I don't even want to go through everything that's here, but there's beef, Korean beef, which is very expensive. There's golden oil, which is um, in English, that's uh, dang, I can't even remember what the name of that is in English anymore. Mackerel, mackerel. And we've got like assorted kimchi and just like all kinds of food. Yo. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> okay, usually I like to film myself eating, but um, <gasps> there's just too much food and we don't have a lot of time. Sorry for my hat. It looks ridiculous. Put it down. There you go. So I'll just show you a couple of things. This is like zucchini. Mmm, very good. Here's like some fish. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. No, I try the main dish. Mm, main, main dish. Right here. Hanu. This is Korean beef, very expensive, but very high value meats. Oh my god. Good. Oh. Yo. I can't, I can't. Mm. 
뜨거워서 못 먹어 지금 먹어 좋아 I'm waiting 뜨거워서 못 먹는다고 I'm waiting I'll wait as long as you want to <웃음> 아, 잘하네. 그렇지. 어이구 잘했네. 어이구 잘했어요. 어이 잘했어요. 저 표정. Say something. <웃음> yeah, usually I don't like fish, but. Golden o a is a fish that I can't eat. Mm. Good. Tell them they also have k o r b i It's j a p j a e noodles made from sweet potatoes. And they're very hot. So this is a, a, a this is a Korean traditional drink, like for dessert. Um, it's made of cinnamon and ginger. So they boil. I think they also put sugar for sure to make it sweeter and then they boil for like a while and then they put it in the refrigerator and whenever we want to drink, then we'll drink mm, and I good. really like it. Okay. It's called Su j o n g w a So can you show us how to drink it? Can you drink it? Oh, it's good. It's mm. good? Mm. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. Okay, so we just finished eating. Man, my stomach is so big, like really, really, really big. I'm actually walking, I'm walking like this, I'm walking like a baby, because <laughs> I ate a lot. So now we're like in town, and I think the girls want to get some coffee because uh, they ate very well. And they said that um, if they don't have any coffee, they're going to fall asleep, and we don't want them falling asleep. Mm, this is bread. Anything else? That's that's enough. Mm. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Wow, I got some dark circles under my eyes, man. Yeah, I need to get some sleep. So, um, this is Penny's. This is Penny's last. Like trip with us because Penny is moving in Korea because Penny is moving to France. She's married. Show them your ring. Penny got married to a Frenchman, and she's moving to France pretty soon. So Penny, can, can you tell us so far what is your best part, or what has been your best part of the trip? Oh, I, I think definitely this resort. Because it's pretty new and actually there's a lot of facilities uh -huh. you can do inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. People can see from your video. There's a how do you call that center? You can play a lot of games. Oh, right, right. Uh, there's a game game room. Yeah, game uh, room, and they even have a norebang. Uh, oh, karaoke. Really? Yeah. Yo, you guys know I love n o r e b a n g And there's a infinite pool in the side. This is just a hot pot. Yeah. Not hot pot. Hot pot is for something for eating. Hot pot. Yeah, this is the hot pot because we're all we're all cooking ourselves. We're we're gonna we're eat it. We're gonna eat each other pretty soon. So yeah, let's 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 change and get Hina Hina's perspective. Hina, can you? I'm sorry, Hina. What has been your best part of the trip so far? Uh, I'm English. Speaking English. Rode a cable car to the top of the mountain of t a e r y u n s a n in Henam mm -hmm. because I thought we were still in fall, but on top of the mountain we saw all the uh, the mountains were covered with snow. Mm -hmm. It was really, 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 really cold. It was cold, but it was also very beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like a winter wonderland. Ah, uh, the scenery was really, really nice. All right, guys. Wow. See you later. I always give you the seasons, mm. the 
food is very common in Korea. So we came to this wonderful restaurant for dinner where we were served this very spicy fish stew with some assorted vegetables. And it was just a wonderful time to spend with two of my favorite friends here in Korea. You know, what is this food? You have to just tell me one time, what is it? Uh, is it fish? Well, you boil the soup after you eat uh, raw fish, like sashimi mm -hmm. And then they put uh, fish hat. Uh, so it's like a leftover fish. Beef rib. You can see, look at all of that. Oh, this is beef rib bone. And then we got some mushrooms. And then there are some dates. And yeah, chives. It's really, really nice. One thing that Korea does really well is beef rib suit. I absolutely love this food and I try to get it whenever I travel outside of Seoul because it's better in the countryside. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> and sometimes when you're eating beef rib soup, you just have to get a little messy. I mean, if you get your hands into it, it's going to taste better. Okay, we just got back to the resort after having an amazing dinner. So we're gonna rest for a bit. Tonight is our last night here. So yeah, we're gonna make sure that we take advantage of our room because we haven't really spent that much time in our room. Okay guys, good morning. This is the last day of our trip here to the resort in Jindo. And this place looks a lot different when the sun is shining. Mentioning last night how I think this resort would make more money if they had tour buses that take people from the larger cities uh, to here because or bring people from the larger cities larger cities uh, here because this place is kind of like out in the middle of nowhere but looks like they already thought of, of that <laughs> so I'm I'm not special in that regard <laughs> like this is a really well put together resort and I've been wanting to come here for such a long time but I didn't know how to get here and that's one thing about traveling in Korea like for really really nice places usually you need a car to get there and I don't drive here in Korea so the lobby where we came in when we checked in and it just looks much more elaborate and detailed and just fabulous during the daytime. I mean, look at how high the ceilings are. Look at the light coming through the windows. It's very spacious. It just, as soon as you walk in, it makes you feel like you're at home. So the weather is so good out here today. It seems like, yeah, we've gone through like all of the weather or all of the seasons since we arrived. So when we came, it was fall. Yesterday, it was like winter. Today, it's like late spring, early summer. So we found this walkway where we can go down into this area that kind of like separates um, the resort from another island. And when we walked down this walkway, it was much older than it was at the top where the resort is. I guess it's because it's very close to the sea. But this area is a must see when you come down to Jindo Resort because the scenery is just amazing and you can come down and just get a really good view of the water. And then there's a bamboo forest that is very close by for you to just go and explore with your friends, your family, or your loved one. Okay guys, this concludes our trip to Seoul Beach Resort. It was a pretty enjoyable stay at the resort. I mean, I think the resort in and of itself, I would probably rate it 
maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10 because, I mean, it's very spacious, it's very well organized and designed, but for a resort of this size, this magnitude, there's like very few options for like English speakers. Anyways, it's a great resort to come to, uh, especially if you come with Korean speakers because you can do more things. That concludes our trip. Thanks a lot for joining us. Penny's last trip here in Korea before she goes to France uh, to live a married life. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, love you, stay hydrated, peace.